All right, boys, welcome back. Um, you can see we just finished the Foot Champs playoffs. Um, we went eight and two. Those are the packs we got. Pretty good packs. Um, and uh, so basically, I just did this whole video, and um, we did it live. And then I go to edit the video, and there's no audio. So I told a story. It was a long story. Um, probably try to condense it because now we were able to cut up the video a little bit better because it's not just straight live. Um, but basically, I've been I was screwed by EA big time. Um, so what happened was Monday night I go on to play the game, and I get a anti cheat error, and I'm like I don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, spend the rest of that night trying to fix it. Um, I'm all over Google searching up different ways to fix it. Different, you know, people have had this problem. Um, it's my first year on PC, and when technical difficulties come up, you have to be a freaking computer tech freaking genius to figure anything out um so tuesday I get home from work try it again nothing's working I'm just freaking pissed off um wednesday it was just today all day again trying to fix it um my cousin knows a guy that that's his job he does like it stuff and uh he does i don't know fixing people's computers and stuff like that so um He's helping me out trying to fix my PC. Um, he thinks he knows what the problem is. He thinks it's like the operating servers or something. Um, so we're going to try that again tomorrow because we spent a couple hours and he's still unable to fix it. But um, he says he thinks he knows what it is. So we're going to try to fix it. Um, so with this PC that we're using right now, is basically a temporary PC. Um, down $1,700. So I went to Costco. They have a real good return policy though. So once I fix my old PC... Well, hopefully we can fix it. I'll be able to return this one because I don't got $1,700 just to be spending on a PC when I have a PC right here. So hopefully we can fix that. Um, that's pretty much what, how my three days have been going. It's been miserable. Um, so, yeah. Good news is I get on FIFA now and I finish my uh, playoffs and go 3-0. and Um is it even called a warm-up game if you haven't played in three days? That's like a super warm-up game. But I went 3-0. My first game was like the hardest game. It's a warm-up game, I guess, for me being cold for three days. Um, that was my hardest one. We went to OT, and I scored. Um, I think I scored in the first session of OT, and then he scored again, tied it up, and we scored late into the second. And um, I think we won 5-4. Next two games, maybe the guys quit in the first half. There we put an O block. There we go. O block's actually my current goalkeeper, so we got him uh, tradable now, so we can figure out what to do with him. But um, yeah, we just opened these packs and telling the story of how I got effed by the anti cheat. If you guys are on console, clearly you guys don't have to worry about stuff like this. I don't regret switching to PC though. PC's been actually pretty good for me. Um, besides the technical difficulties, that you have to be a genius to figure out. Hopefully I can fix that, man. I'm, I'm down 1700 So like and sub, guys, for my pain and suffering. According to the analytics, 90% of the people that don't uh, watch this video aren't sub. So sub, we are almost at 150 And that's another reason. Like, I didn't even have the strong urge to, like, I didn't want to play the game. Of course I want to play the game, but it was more so just knowing that my, I couldn't play the game and I wanted to fix it so bad because, um, um, just I see the momentum that we're getting on the YouTube channel and it's it's going pretty well. I appreciate it. Um, this ain't an RTG no more really. I didn't buy pack uh, FIFA points. Um, I got FIFA, I'm still calling FIFA points. I don't care. I got FIFA points because I'm an EA uh, Play Pro member and I I bought the game on EA Play Pro on uh, PC. They had this uh, on EA Play. They had this. Um, Basically, subscription model that they have is you pay $100 for the year and you get access to every EA game. Or I don't know if it's these. I don't know if it's just the EA sports games or every EA game. I don't know. I only play sports games, so I got it when Madden came out, and uh, and then it got it obviously when FIFA came out. And they give you FIFA points monthly. I think once a month they give you like a certain amount of FIFA points, and then so. This ties into my story of me getting effed by the EA anti cheat. I was trying everything. I was like, maybe it's the, maybe I need to 
buy it on Steam or something, or I don't know, maybe it'll work on Steam. So I go to Steam, I purchase the FIFA Ultimate Edition again, um, and it gives me more points. So that's how I got all these points, so that's pretty glitchy, right? Because Steam also has a good return policy, um, so you're able to get a full refund if you've played less than like I think 10 hours or two hours or something like that and obviously I couldn't play the game so it was like five minutes um because I guess it counts me trying to load into the game um so we got a full refund on that and we were able to get free FIFA points so that's how I opened that pack that pack was kind of a L um we did get a double walkout on that pack so we got some fodder um we will use the rest of those points in the next video which will be when rival rewards come out we got elite rival rewards I can't say that, I don't know, tongue twister, but yeah, so we're going to get Elite Rival Rewards, that's going to be good, that's going to be the next video, um, we used a lot of that fodder to complete, I think we're up to 17 out of 100 on the Centurion uh, objective, the SPC, so we'll slowly start, you know, ripping into that, um, but yeah, these pa so we're just going to start opening these three uh, player packs, and uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my story. That's the the, the uh, pretty much all of the story. Um, got this PC from Costco. They have a good return policy too. Theirs is three months. So if I can't figure out how to fix the freaking PC in three months, then we're gonna have to sell the old PC and use this one because this one this one's actually really good. I like it. Um, even if like I could fix it, if I could sell the other one for about like I want to say anywhere from 700 to 900, I'll probably just keep this other one. Just get the just get the upgrade, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys are on, I'm pretty sure about 90% of you guys are on console. Um, you guys have PC. If you guys ever ran into something like that where the anti cheat doesn't want to install, um, I don't know. I don't know what the hell was going on, man. It was the worst three days of my life. I don't. I don't wish that on my worst enemy that taunts me in FIFA. I don't wish on anyone. It's just just not being able to play your game for three days. And it sucked because I was like, damn. More so, like, I want to keep building the channel. And if if my PC is unable to be fixed and I was unable to make videos, it would it would suck. Because I see the momentum going. I appreciate all the views, all the likes. You guys are commenting more. Um appreciate it I see you guys we're almost at 150 that's good let's keep building let's uh, keep the momentum going um let me know if you guys want to see more gameplays or more pack open well I've, it's more pack openings I didn't really think anyone would want to watch gameplays but um surprisingly my last video not the last one but the one before it, the the video of me getting into the league division um, it's a gameplay video and it's actually doing pretty well. So um, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to, any any ideas, I'm open. It's a new channel, building. Um, so I'm open to what you guys want to see. But yeah, guys, make sure to sub. We're we're almost at 150 at 200. Um, we'll buy one of those uh, one of those money packs for someone. We'll do like something like that. Um, to celebrate getting to 200 subs, which is we're about 52 off. So sub, and then we'll do like a YouTube giveaway for one of the, um, you know, promo packs. One of the expensive promo packs. We'll do that for, for a, a cel celebration. So yeah, when I told the story and I did the did it live, and I did the when I went to go check and there was no audio, it was a lot longer, and I basically told the story like three times faster. Um, after the fact now that i'm able to so now i don't even know what to talk about but these packs have been kind of cheeks to be honest um even that 30 dollar pack i think it was a 30 dollar pack i don't know what few points go for because i don't buy them but i think it equates right a thousand is ten dollars i would i would assume so that 30 dollar pack we got the double walkout but besides that we didn't really get much um and yeah we got 284 by twos that we completed um we used some dupes that we got from that pack i believe i used the Cancelo and the robertson and we did 284 by twos i already know what i got because like i said i did this video already and 
it's probably the same thing as you got. So let me know if you guys actually did that SPC. I was technically going to stay away from the SPC. I wasn't going to open it. Um, but the fact that we got those free FIFA points and we opened that huge pack and we got all those dupes and we got two high dupes. Um, I didn't want to do the hero SPC. So I was like, yeah, I might as well throw them in here. Um, pretty sure you guys know what I got. It's the same thing as what you guys got. I don't recommend doing those packs. So you'll see why. So this is the first 84 by two. Um, you know what it's going to be. It's going to be two 84s, right? Because it's an 84 by two. They, it's, it's literal. They say 84 by two. They mean 84 by two. So yeah, I get two 84s. After I had just thrown in a freaking Cancelo into this one with some 83s and 82s. And um, then we got another one, another shot at failure. Not even say glory. We do get a Centurion. That's the very worst one you can possibly get. It's an 84. So that tells you we got a double 84. So yeah, those those 84 by 2s, I'd stay away from them. You guys have probably already done them though. I'm, you guys got to remember I'm three days behind. Um, I don't know if that's even a, yeah, I think it came out like three days ago. Cause I remember not wanting to do it when it came out and this is why. So we got four 84s after we threw in freaking, uh, 80, two 86s and then some fodder, but it was a free pack. I can't complain. And then, um, I was talking about my tactics at the end of the video. Cause, uh, someone had mentioned they wanted to know my tactics um, so I was basically right now here, I was explaining that I run this formation as a base because um, I had Van Dyke untradeable, which I show, and I'm almost 300 games played with him. I did the Blanc SPC, almost 100 games with him, and then I randomly pulled this Coleman. Um, this was out of an objective pack. Um, I forgot, like, I think it was like the Evo objectives. It was like a player pick, 80 plus player pick, and we randomly pulled that. And when you pull an 89 Centurion Titan, Coleman, not Titan, Centurion, uh, Coleman, um, you have to play him. So look at his stats. He's good enough to play as, as a CDM, so that's how we play him. I'm going to show the tactics now. We 90% of the time we're in this tactic, the 4-2-3-1. We play pressure and heavy touch. We keep it narrow with 40 because we like to push people outside. Um, they can't score if they're outside, well, unless they got the finesse shot. Plus, those are deadly players. Um, we run usually 60 depth, but according to things I see on Twitter or X, um, 71 depth is glitchy, and you know, so we like a high a high line. So we play 71 depth. We play fast build up, direct passing. Um, those stat, uh, whatever. Um, and then we have Holland on central, getting behind, conservative to try to conserve his stamina. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I do it. I uh, got Beckham on comeback. Um, we got all of them on comeback. It's kind of hard to tell, say the tactics because I, I'm not controlling the remote. I'm just, this was already made. Like I said, the audio's whatever. It's, it got messed up. But I'm like, I'm more defensive. I like defense. I like to, I pride myself in the defense. Um, so that's why we play rollful at left mid. Um, so she comes back on defense. And I don't know what I was saying right here. We're stuck on rollful. Move, move the remote. Okay, so we have Coleman. He plays as a CDM. Cut passing lanes, stay back. Um, we usually put them on cover center, but I have two fullbacks that are really good going forward. I love Bon, bon Pastor. It's a girl, but she's good. Um, um, that's probably what I'm saying right now. I got Lorente and Bon Pastor. They both have Relentless um, as a play style, or whatever it's called now. Um, so they don't get tired. So they go up and down the field all day. Usually I used to keep one back. I used to keep the right back back because I used to have Cancelo there and he doesn't have that. And he's kind of cheeks going forward. So I used to keep him back. And um, But now I have Lorente. So we make them both go forward. Um, yeah, so they're pretty OP. Um, she's good. She has press proven. And she's good going forward. Um, the two center backs are on just default and then Sokka is on comeback. All my whole team's on comeback pretty much. Um, even my striker is not set as a tactic to come back, but he, I do it in game to make them come back. 
And then uh, those are just my other formations I I can run. I run sometimes. Maybe when I need a goal, I'll switch into the four triple two, make both the fullbacks come up and kind of like try to, you know, obviously flood flood the flood their black their back line. Obviously, if we need a goal or two down. Um, but all my uh, formations, all my uh, what are they called? Like the the attacking, ultra attacking, they're all set on pressure on heavy touch are all set on the same width and depth even my five back when i'm trying to hold a lead is still set on high pressure um probably not the best thing but i just like to keep it like that and then sometimes i'll even run the three four three um very rarely but when i'm trying to get a little bit glitchy we'll run that um but yeah that's, those are my tactics for the someone that asked um next video will be rivals i am I did make the elite division before my PC decided to F me. So I was able to get the seven wins, luckily. Hope, good thing I didn't freaking um, fail to get that done because that would have pissed me off. Making the elite division, not getting the seven wins. But uh, yeah, we got that. So we will take the untradeable rewards. So you get two player picks. We will get two 100k packs, two 50k packs, and two mega packs. Um, we have a good amount of coins now. We still have those extra FIFA points from that little little free FIFA point glitch from Steam. Um, so we'll open the Rivals next video, which will be tomorrow. We'll open the Rival Rewards. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Sub. Sub for my, for my freaking pain and suffering I've been going through these three days, man. It's been horrible. $1,700 down. Hopefully it's been worth, hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. I don't know. I doubt it, but GG's. I'm out.